Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I wanted to show you guys the second part of my Komodo Cleaning Essentials uh, tutorial. The first part was we, we looked at kill switch, um, the kill switch utility. Uh, what Komodo Cleaning Essentials in general is, is it's, it's a set of tools meant for, um, I guess, computer security, not computer security, but just just in general maintenance of your computer um, and it's free it's a free toolkit and you just download it you don't have to install anything and what you end up is with just a folder a folder like this and it has all these files inside so the first one we looked at was kill switch which is a very very detailed not detailed but very useful tool to have on your computer and is it's extremely I guess detailed in the sense that you can you can get all the information you need anytime you want um, so it's it's very useful to have so I would definitely suggest you guys go watch that video as well um, but today we're gonna be looking at auto runs so without any hesitation let's get started so auto runs is it's a utility that basically looks at uh, multiple levels or categories of your computer and it checks what are the things that starts up right starts up at the beginning when your computer starts up what are what is everything that automatically runs hence the name auto runs right um, so it, it's it's very in-depth uh, because it, it pretty much captures everything that's starting up at your uh, when your computer starts up so it it's very it's good in the sense that you can you can go you can open this up anytime just analyze the different categories and see anything that you don't like and just uncheck it um, if you guys remember I, I already made one video long ago about three ways to uh, on how to stop programs from startup starting up when your computer starts up uh, and in that that was those were three basic windows methods that, w that are just that are built into Windows that you can use so that's a pretty simple tutorial uh, auto runs auto runs is like the king of you know startup management because you can just you can just open this up and find any single thing you want and uh, take care of it so the first thing right now we're on everything so it's 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 showing a lot of stuff and you know uh, some of the stuff s seems complicated uh, the easiest one that you want to first look is logon. You click on logon, and what logon is, is it it basically shows everything that starts up when your comp any programs that start up when your comp uh, computer logs when you log on to your computer pretty much. So once you log on, these are the different things that are starting up. Um, and as you can see, there's only here there, every category has a number beside it, and that's how much uh, programs or services that are starting up when your computer starts up. So I have 32. Um, so you, of course, like my computer, I recently, uh, yeah, I kind of refreshed it on Windows 8, so it uninstalled everything on my computer, and I had to reinstall much of the stuff again. So because because of that, I don't have too much stuff here. But if you've been using your computer for maybe a few months or maybe a few years, you're gonna have quite a few different things in this cat in the logon category and that's where auto runs comes in use so much because you just open it up and you can browse through here and anything you don't like just uncheck it and you're good to go you just have to uncheck it and that's pretty much it 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 say it notices that you did that and it won't it that it'll stop that from starting up from now on so uh, in that sense it's very easy to use uh, myself I'm just gonna check this back up so I don't have too much programs here but uh, the same way you guys can you guys can open it up and just double click auto runs open it up go to a log on and check what's there anything that you don't uh, that you don't uh, need starting up like for me I have Plex media server that's my media server so I, I always keep that running. Sticky notes, uh, 
these are a few basic Windows uh, services, so that's that's okay. Explorer is okay. You know, Google Chrome. This is a Google Chrome the update update service, so I don't mind that running either. But uh, because Komodo is like a security, it's like a security uh, related firm, com computer security, and uh, and yeah, I guess computer security firm. It's auto runs is also meant uh, because auto runs is so detailed. You can also use it to say you have a virus or something. You can just quickly open this up, check anything that you're not. Uh, you, that as, as you, uh, that seems suspicious one thing that I didn't mention yet is if you look at every entry over here there's a rating column over here and this rating column tells you if this if this service or program is safe so that's that's the beauty of auto runs in the sense uh, because you can uh, you can browse through everything that's running that's auto running when your computer starts up and it'll tell you if it's safe or not Komodo has a Komodo has one of the best databases of uh, you know safe uh, programs and malware and viruses and rootkits and all that kind of stuff so that's why it can have a program like this and it can analyze it automatically analyzes everything on your computer and it tells you if there's anything that's not safe so you wanna you wanna you definitely wanna run this program and constantly check if, if if there's anything that uh, you that's marked as unsafe normally it'll be red color and that way you'll know oh, okay maybe this is this is something that's dangerous and you have to get rid of that you have to remove that you can see some of these gray ones it means that it's it's unknown to Komodo or it's uh, it, it's something it's not unknown but it's something that is uh, I guess being checked uh, at at the at the time. Uh, since this is VMware's uh, services, I know it's fine. Uh, some what you can do sometimes is you could right click it and you can search online. Uh, so that way you can it, uh, through this program you can quickly just look up that service, see if it's safe or not. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, that's pretty much this. Ha ha the benefit of this uh, program it it's not something that you have to install on your computer it's just something you run whenever you want you can you know put this on your USB take it to any computer you want and just check check that computer if you want anywhere in your house um, and even in a company as well uh, it's definitely something I suggest everyone should have because uh, you know who doesn't want their computer to be secure and who doesn't want to uh, stop those annoying programs from starting up at the beginning of whenever your computer starts up because sometimes we we install a bunch of things and we don't know what's starting up but uh, if you check your notifications maybe there's a bunch bunch of different things starting up so to avoid avoid slowing down your computer and uh, making everything more efficient you can run this program browse through all the different things starting up and uncheck simply uncheck anything that you don't want and that is pretty much it I think I think uh, you you may have you could just uncheck it pretty much uh, easy to follow once you know what you're doing and uh, I hope this video helped with that and I hope you guys will go ahead and give this a shot because it's it's very useful uh, sorry guys yeah um, I just want to sh mention one thing before I end this. Um, it's that uh, you don't actually have to save. You don't have to save the file at all. Um, what you all you have to do is uh, let me just enlarge this a little bit. So yeah, you j you just have to uncheck what you don't want here, and it'll like live as you uncheck it. It'll un remove it from the system itself. To demonstrate that, I'll just show you guys. Like, I'll right click here, go to Task Manager, and in Task Manager, I'll go to Startup. And um, and as you can see over here, I have Power ISO on my startup, and I have Power ISO over here. 
So if I uncheck this one in auto runs, you'll see that it disappeared from here as well. So it is live. Whatever you uncheck here, it'll remove. It'll uncheck from the system as well. So uh, yeah, you don't have to save anything. You just uncheck it. That's it, and close auto runs, and you're good to go. Uh, for me, I'm just gonna enable it again. But uh, that was just to show you guys how it's done. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys haven't watched my other video about uh, kill switch, go ahead and watch that as well. It's it's another useful tool to have. And uh, please don't forget to comment, share, rate, and subscribe, guys. Thank you, and take care.